Hi everyone, this is Julian Kiepski from Northern Mystic. Welcome to Tips and Tricks. We're here today to talk about dock starts. So dock starts is a great way to uh, get you pumping on when there is no wind or no waves. There's a few things you need to know before you get into that sport. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the gear selection. So right here, I have my setup for dock starting and I use the scoop. So the scoop is a really nice board because the nose is raised up a little bit, so it's really forgiving. It also has some really thin rails that you can grab onto really easily and it's all padded. So you won't get hurt and you won't have to actually put wax on it. As far as the bottom setup, so I have an 85 centimeter sonar mast, carbon fiber. I like to go on the bigger side when it comes to mast. This way I don't have to lean forward too much and be all hunched back when I'm trying to get started. 70 centimeter fuselage, it's a little longer, so it's more stable. Again, if you're starting, you wanna make it as easy as possible. Uh, as far as front wind goes, I use the 1230 uh, SF, which is our surf foil series. They're coming up really soon and they'll be available at your local shop. For the rear stabilizer, I use the 215 SF foil as well. Pretty easy setup to use and to start with. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the spot selection. So that is really important. You want to make sure that you have an accessible dock that you can go to. And the things you want to look for is somewhere where you can actually slide the foil under the dock and keep the board close to you, as close as possible, which will be better. If you have to actually hold the board further away from you, it's going to be really uncomfortable, but also dangerous because when you're going to jump on it, you could actually, on accident, push the board towards the dock and then damage your board or hurt yourself. The other thing you want to take a look at, and that's going to be hard to find, is uh, all the cleats that you can find on those docks can hurt you really bad. So there's a few docks, maybe in your area, you can find without cleats. It's really rare. So the other way is to uh, really, like I said, keep the board close to you so that you can run and avoid those cleats as you get in the water. If your area is subject to tides, go check your spot out at low tide because you can be surprised by what you can find. There are some areas that have oyster shells, rocks that are submerged at high tide that you won't be able to see. So always check your spot at low tide and make sure it's safe for you and your foil. Now we have our gear set up, we have our spot set up. Let's talk about starting. Before jumping on your foil, there's a few things you need to do. Grab your foil and your board and you're gonna try to slide it under the dock. See how close you can get it to you. Be careful not to scrape the mast or to raise it too high so, so that you would scrape the foil. And you're gonna just do a mock run. You're gonna just hold your board. So the way I like to hold my board when I start is my back hand on the tail and my front hand on the, pretty much where I'm gonna put my foot, but on the rail. As I run with the board, the foil is gonna to start to carry the weight of the board and I'm gonna move my front hand to right in front of where my foot will go. This way I can handle the pressure and manage the pitch a little better. As I gain speed, I will be able to jump on the board. But remember, the first one will be your mock starts. Do a couple like this to see how that feels and how much pressure you, you get from the front side of the board. And after that, when you're ready to go, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Back hand on the tail, front hand on the rail, start running. Move your front hand to the board and this is what's going to help you push and jump on the board. So when you jump on the board, you're going to want to be really careful and you are going to want to land really softly on the board. So if you land really hard like this, you're going to uh, throw the balance off and you might have the foil shoot out or actually you might end up like shooting back to the dock. So that's another point I want to touch on. As you push to get on the foil, try to move the board away from the dock so that you don't hurt yourself or damage the board. So I like to try to land both feet at the same time so it doesn't throw my balance out and then you're gonna end up on your board you're gonna push up and give it a second if you have a big front wing it'll be you pretty much have like two three seconds before you have to start pumping until you lose plane so make sure your stance is uh, properly adjusted you don't want to be too far forward too far back or too close the cool thing with the north boards is that here you have black gray and it gets a little clearer here and on the front side, you have some lines, so you can actually see where you need to put your feet. And that's gonna take a few tries to be able to do it properly. But once you get that good and you know your, your stance is proper, you're gonna be able to start pumping. As you start pumping, you're gonna need to keep a good rhythm. So if you lose speed, the, the board's gonna stall and you're gonna fall. So if you're already a prone foiler or winger, you're familiar with that, but if you're not, what you need to keep is that speed. So to do that, 
I usually keep my rhythm by uh, throwing my arms up and down. So basically each pump, I move my arms. So if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go up like this, and then I'm gonna keep moving. And this way you don't lose the rhythm and you don't lose the speed as you're pumping. Like I said, it's gonna take you a few tries to get up and going, but after that, you're gonna have to return to where you started. So when you get good enough to return to where you started, you're gonna aim back to the dock. But the other danger is if you come with a lot of speed, you might end up hitting that dock. So my suggestion is just stop a little short from the dock so you don't hurt yourself and don't hurt the board as well. So that's dock starting in a nutshell. So I hope that helped you out. I hope to see you out there and hear some feedback from you. Uh, if you have any input, feel free to message me and don't forget to subscribe. That episode was presented by North and Mystic. See you next time on Tips and Tricks.